Welcome back people, we got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. Well, sit back, get your popcorn ready, this is a long video. <laughs> normally when I make videos, I normally do them for around about the 8-10 minutes mark. But um, there were so many video clips that I got, and I decided to put all of those video clips together. It's probably spent more time, yeah, I definitely spent more time editing this video than what I did making it. So, from level 63 to level 68, I'm going to show you how to max level to, well, you could max level like this, but I'm going to show you how to get from level 63 to 68. And the reason why I say level 63 is to get into this Maroon River, uh, or Maron River, yeah, to get into here... Um, you need to be at least level 63, unless you buy the DLC. So, whilst you're on the grind, I definitely recommend buying premium. I'm not sponsored by Fishing Planet in any sort of way. It's just personally my opinion. The quickest way to level up is to buy premium. Anytime I use... Anytime I use, no, anytime I do live streams, <laughs> anytime I do live streams, I always use face camera mic. Anytime I make videos like this, I just hit record and, um... <sighs> Sometimes I do say some things and they don't really make much sense and um, I don't bother editing and redoing it. So, um, yeah, sometimes the things I say are a little bit crazy, but you will understand what I'm saying anyway. There's our first one to start off with. There was a unique glided catfish, £141, not bad. So through this video, obviously, I'm going to show you the spot where I'm fishing and I will show you that a few times throughout the video. And I'll also show you different rods that I'm using. Now, one of the rods that I'm using are the DLC rod for this lake. Um, which is the Cazador rod. And it's at 63.9 pounds. And I'm also using the better rods that are level um, 65. I think they are level 65 rods. Yeah. So, um, but again, for me doing this video i'm going to show you all the setups that i'm using right now i actually have the dlc rod in my hand the way you can tell the difference they're both um the cazador rods but the, the way you can tell the difference is this one has like a little bit of a silver after the black bit it has silver whereas if the in-game ones that you buy in game with your in-game cash those ones are blue so yeah as you can tell this one is silver so this one is the dlc rod so <clears throat> for the new amazonia um amazonia maze brazil i've completed every mission in that lake including every other mission on fishing planet and every fish monster mission as well so if you're stuck on any missions I'm definitely your guide. Look across the channel and you will find it there. When this update dropped for the um, for the new Amazonia maze, Brazil, and for this one, and for many other, <laughs> other maps that have dropped in the past, I don't even know at this point. I've been playing this game for five years. So, uh, yeah, I don't know why I never streamed. I just didn't really stream or make videos on Fishing Planet when I very first started playing. And... I just didn't really think that many people would be interested in fishing and I was clearly so wrong. So um, I'm happy to share with you guys my quickest ways to level up and also I'm happy to share with you hot spots and show you hot spots. And as I said, we've done all the missions, all of those missions you will find on the channel. Also showing hot spots for new unique fish when the updates do come out. Obviously I tell you about the update and I always do a live stream on the update as well. When the update drops, I do a live stream i download install as quick as i can i live stream with face cam and mic and then we get into it into the new lake always buying the new dlc showing you new rods reels tackle doing all the new missions and showing showing new hot spots of those new fish as well so i've also got um videos of the for the amazonia maze brazil i've got hot spots in there for showing shark hot spots the arapaima hot spots the new bass um, the Tahara, the new white belly cat. There's so many videos that I've done at this point. I've actually lost count of what I have and what I haven't done. But anyway, talking more about this me fishing here. As I said, I did make lots of lots of edits through this video. I actually lost count of how many video clips that I had. And um, I just chose some of the best ones pretty much and watched them all through and 
that's how I managed to create this video. But I definitely recommend using Barbless Hooks. Barbless Hooks is going to give you 10% extra XP. Even if you don't buy premium, still always use Barbless Hooks because it always gives you... Some people say it gives you 20%. I don't know. It, it says in there 10%, but maybe 10 or 20%, whatever it is. It always gives you extra XP. So definitely use Barbless Hooks. Throughout this whole video, I used Barbless Hooks, hash six slash zero, six art hook, as some people called it. Um, one thing I did notice, though, whilst I was fishing here in Maron, was that I did actually get quite a lot more uniques compared to what I normally do. And that's because I, was, I spent so much time... Um, obviously from level 65 to, to level 68, that's where I did the grind. Um, yeah, so I don't even know how many uniques I had. I There was lots of other uniques that I had as well. Not just cats, but lots of other uniques as well. Um, free fishing here at this spot. Quite a lot of unique silver. Um, had a few, a few Tahara here and there. But using different types of baits, as you can always see at the top there, what types of baits I'm using, and obviously the time that I'm catching it. I always start from 5 in the morning, and I normally fish up until about 9 o'clock, the latest in the morning. And normally by then I've already skipped day. Either one, because my net's too full, or two, because it's slowing down and I'm not catching at a fast pace, so I end up jumping to the next day, just as, a, as if I would... If I was live streaming, I would be playing this. So um, I've already reached level 70. I am already max level on Steam on PC. I play this on PC and I play on PS4. Right now, I am playing on PS4. I brought the DLC for PC and I showed that new update and showed hotspots and everything. But um, I was then going to buy buy that DLC for the PS4. But loads and loads of people... I, I actually, again, I've lost count of how many people kept saying to me, how could I level from level 63 as I've just got to Maroon, Maroon and I need to get to level 68 to get to the new lake. So that's why I decided to say this video obviously was from level 63 because that's when you're able to get in here. As soon as you get in here, I probably recommend to buy the Casador Rod, even if you don't buy the DLC and you hit level 63. If you hit level 63 and you're able to get into this like this lake by the Casador rod, I think that's like 63 pounds. Or if not, you can get away with using the heavy chasers. Um, so I've got a heavy chaser over there. This heavy chaser is the gold DLC pack that I'm using. Heavy chaser does get the job done, definitely, but it does take that little bit longer to reel in. So either buy the Casador rods and use those. If not, stick with heavy chasers. They will get the job done. It's just going to take that a little bit longer. Real time, um, I think I spent around about 22 hours and 40 something odd minutes. <laughs> That's non-stop gameplay. Um, literally even to the point where I didn't eat throughout all of it. The only thing I did was drink water, which is good because I should definitely stay hydrated. I should have eaten and I didn't really... Um, yeah, I didn't eat anything. Um, and again, it was just because I was purely on the grind and I wanted to get this video out to you guys. I've been busy making other videos as well. We do lots of other fishing games as well as this fishing game. I do try and put lots of other games out there. I just want to say I appreciate everyone who does watch them other videos as well. Like, I know some of you only like Fishing Planet and you only watch Fishing Planet and nothing else. That's cool. That's that's perfectly fine. But for those others who do watch my other videos as well, the other videos that I create, um, I really appreciate you guys. You know, sometimes I can't always upload videos of Fishing Planet because I, for me to grow as a content creator, I feel like I have to make different content. If I'm making the same content all the time, I don't feel like I'm going to grow like that. So every now and again, I do post different videos. There is videos on the channel every single day of the week, 365 days a year. <laughs> sometimes more than one video a day. Sometimes it can be a live stream and a video a day, or sometimes it can be like three or four videos a day, depending on the updates on this game. When these updates drop, obviously I put out tons and tons of videos. So that made me level up that one there. This is where I hit level 66. I was fishing, to be honest with you, I was fishing in Blue Crab for a little bit um, to level up and it took <laughs> it took a short minute. So I felt like the quickest way was to come to here 
to um, Maroon. I felt like it was best to come here because you can get so much more XP from the fish compared to what you can in Blue Crab. And obviously I catch them insanely fast as well at the spot where I'm at. So here I'm just showing you all my different rods that I'm using at the minute. Um, I do end up coming out of here, repairing all my gear, buying another one of these Cazador rods because I've only got um, three of them. And as I mentioned, one of them was the DLC. The DLC rod is slightly weaker compared to the the best Casador rod you can buy. So, um, yeah, I do end up coming out, repairing all my stuff after like 20 odd days. And I do end up, um, end up buying another one of those rods. So I do end up spending a, quite a lot of money repairing all my gear. I spend also an insane amount of money buying more bait. Like the bait is really expensive, but I do earn the money back quick especially when i've got that premium on and i'm on the grind non-stop just to mention as well i appreciate if, if you are new to hit that subscribe button if you are able to share this content please do that also helps me grow as a content creator and um, don't forget to smash that like button if you are still enjoying fishing planet if you've got any comments do leave it in the comment section below and of course i will try and get back to you as quick as i can it is kind of hard for me to try and reply to every message so don't feel offended or angry if i don't reply back to you guys straight away it is just because i've got so many videos across the the whole channel like i don't know there's 500 plus videos plus including live streams i don't even know how many but um at least videos there's over 500 videos so yeah it's hard for me to try and reply to everyone but i do try my best of course you know, I can't always reply to every every single comment. But um just want to say as well with the Xbox, um, I got so much grief for the Xbox update because there was a delay on it. Just want to take this time real quick and say I do not work for Fish and Planet in any sort of way. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't work for them. Um, you know, I just tell you the information that they tell me, basically. I, you know, I go by the, what the developers say. The developers were meant to drop the update at the same time as the PS4 update, but it didn't happen. There was a delay on it. And there was a delay when this place came out, Maroon River as well, uh, or Maron. I keep saying it different. Yeah, um, the update obviously always drops on PC first. So if you're really, really into Fishing Planet, I recommend getting a PC. If not... Uh, probably recommend getting a PS4 because the PS4, when the update says it's coming for the PlayStation, yeah, it's pretty much been there every time they've said it's going to be there. But yeah, the Xbox, it they keep on delaying it. There was, I think, about two to three weeks delay on the Maroon <laughs> for the Xbox, which that really sucks for Xbox players. Like, yeah, that's that's it's not fair, really. Like, it, it's okay for me, because obviously I'm playing on PC and PS4, so it's so alright for me, I'm getting that content fast, but some people can't afford to buy a PC, or some people don't know how to work a PC, or don't even like PC, so, um, yeah, you know, it does suck big time for the Xbox players, but, you know, do take in consideration, I'm only telling you what the developers are telling me, and I have had to delete an insane amount of comments from, um, I'm not going to say Pacific people, but I've had to block certain people and I've had to delete a lot of comments just because of how much grief I had from the Xbox update not releasing the same time as the PS4. That is not my fault. As I said, I don't work for them. I don't work with them. I'm not sponsored by them. I just play the game. That's it. Same as you guys. You guys just play their game and have fun. I'm doing the same thing. I'm playing their game, having fun, but just showing you guys how to catch these fish faster, getting these missions done. And so that way you can enjoy this game as much as I enjoy it. I've, within the time of me playing this game, within five years, I don't think I've ever enjoyed Fishing Planet as much as what I have right now. I think this is probably my highest peak, and that is because of the catfish here in Maroon, and because of the sharks, and also the new white belly cats in the um, Amazonia maze, Brazil. Like, I love catching those catfish. They are absolutely awesome. Also... I don't actually know at this point what I like better to catch, whether I like catching the sharks or the arapaima or the white belly cats. Um, at first it was the sharks, I was all about the sharks, but I don't know so much now. Maybe could be arapaima or the white belly cats now, I really ain't sure. But anyway, here it is, level 67. We finally hit it. <laughs> 
So for me, casting, I've been casting around 100. As long as you can cast over 100 foot, you'll be good. But um, it is me showing you my setup and stuff. Yeah, as long as you can cast at least over 100 foot, then you are going to get some uniques. You will get some uniques casting in closer, but it just takes that little bit longer. But I, most of my casts were around about 120 to around 150, 160-ish foot. And that's how I just, it was just like that. Pretty much every cast was between 120 to 150, 160 at the most. And I also did mess around with the Hunch Runner spinning rod here. And I did have a few Tahara and um, some Ripsaw, some Silver. Yeah, I had quite a lot of different um, fish on that. Also did catch some Glided and Red Tail Cats on that Hunch Runner as well. Not as many as obviously the Silvers <laughs> and the Ripsaws, but yeah, I did have quite a lot of... Um, Quite a lot of different types of fish by using that hunch runner. So while you're waiting for those rods to go off, you could always mess around with a spinning rod. But that's if you get a chance to, um, just because you don't really get <laughs> you don't really get too much chance to mess around with a spinning rod, just because of how quick this this is. I've shown hot spots in this lake before, so and this was one of the hot spots that I showed that I thought personally myself was the very very best hot spot for catfish. But there is also another hotspot that I've showed in here for catfish. And as I said, lots of other hotspots for all different types of fish. But I felt like that this one, I don't know, there's just something about this spot that I like that little bit more. And I, you can catch them if you spawn straight off the middle of the island. Obviously, you can catch them there. But here was a spot that I found. And it just it's just been really good ever since I've fished at this spot. At this spot, I feel like a lot of people do fish here. One, you know, people start seeing me fishing. Same as on the new Amazonia maze in Brazil. People see me fishing. They see me catching loads of fish. They come to that spot and they fish the same spot. Then it doesn't really work for them. Then they start asking me and I tell them what, what to do and where to fish and what I'm using and stuff. And then they start having a great time and their reaction, you know, sometimes when I go into rooms as well, you know, if you ever playing and you're fishing in a random room, I fish in a random room 80% of the time. I used to all the time, but now 80% just because sometimes when I am making videos, you know, I am family friendly. Some people do get quite angry sometimes on this game. So uh, <laughs> sometimes I have to do private rooms especially for the last clip or the last video the very important part i do then have to obviously do that in a private room or a friends only room just because i want it to stay family friendly and of course um i yeah it say it just saves me editing so much so this is what i caught it on this that uh unique just there i'm showing you that my setup that i caught it on so you know the location and you know where I'm fishing, you know what rod I'm using, you know my setup, you know how far I'm casting. That's pretty much covers everything to be honest. <laughs> how does this video go on for 31 minutes? I really don't know. I've pretty much covered and said everything. Sorry about that. I left my phone on. Yeah, I've pretty much covered everything um, about, about it. I think... This was, yeah, my red tail cat, 161 pound. That was a, a new personal record. They definitely go really big monsters in um, the Amazonia, Brazil. I've been catching fish in there. Arapaima, 380 odd pounds. And um, the white belly cats, around 300 pounds. I've been catching sharks at 365, I think, 366 pound ish. And they do go bigger than that as well. But, um,. I haven't had a chance to get that really, really big one just as of yet. Just because I've been so busy making videos showing the new best casting rod, buying all the new gear, showing all the new gear, showing hot spots and doing missions and stuff. So yeah, I haven't really had a chance to get the biggest, biggest fish in this pl in the new place just as of yet. But um, in, in time, that will come. I'm not in any rush to catch the biggest fish. I'm always in a rush to get those missions out there first. And then showing hot spots as well, obviously. So it makes your experience of fishing planet that little bit more fun. So here we are, day 21. I think this is where I end up coming out of the lake. And um, I come out of the lake and end up buying a new rod, because I need a new rod. And then I end up taking away the 
gold heavy chaser part of the DLC and I use the normal heavy chaser so that way obviously if you guys are using the heavy chaser it does work hold on one sec sorry yeah there we go <laughs> so I had to quickly reply to a message I know that's not ideal whilst you're making videos but <laughs> yeah at this point I um uh, pressed the wrong button there <laughs> yeah and as i mentioned i was playing yeah i'm playing on ps4 so but if you're level 65 which was the new um that was the new max level level 65 if you're level 65 i was level 65 grinding from level 65 to 68 wasn't too bad just um obviously no sleep no food and yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you guys could do it yourself, you know. You don't have to necessarily do it with premium. I decided to buy premium just because it was just... <laughs> it was ridiculously slow. Yeah. If you're not in a rush to level up, though, and you're not in a rush to get to level 68, to get into the new the new lake, then it doesn't really matter. But the new level cap now, which most of you probably know, but if some of you don't, the new level cap is now level 70, which I am level 70 on, P on PC, and now on PS4 as we speak, I am now level 68. After this video, because it's so early in the morning, after this video, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to get some sleep, I think. What's the time now? It's like 10 to 8, so... Yeah, I spent 21 hours, uh, 22 hours, um, nearly 23 hours making this video, and then I don't even know how many hours I've spent editing, but it definitely took a short minute to choose the certain, <laughs> certain video clips that I wanted. I did make some serious money, though, so I'm just coming out of the lake here just to show you how much money I have and obviously me repairing my gear i'm going to repair the gear and we'll see how much money i have after i've repaired it and then i'm going to buy a new rod wow there was quite a lot of stuff there that i needed to repair it's kind of unusual really because i don't normally let my stuff wear down that much but <laughs> yeah i did for this one just because i really wanted to Really wanted to make the most of it. And as you can see there, I earned a serious amount of money. Nearly 800,000 there. And a crazy amount of XP. So I did pretty good. Yeah, using all different baits. I felt like the RQ Mino seemed to work best for Uniques. In my opinion. But you can catch them on other things as well. You know, I have caught the um, catfish on other stuff. Not just on... Um, the RQ Minnow, but I've caught I've caught plenty of them before I made videos. Yeah, I caught them on the huge cut bait. I've caught them on the crawfish. I've caught them on the frog. Um, the liver, large liver, chicken liver, and large minnows, shiners, duck muscle meat. Like the list goes on. You can catch so many of these, like, using all different types of baits. What's up, Dots? I hear you creeping quietly. You're going to get your, your hair trimmed up, are you? All right. I'm almost done. Yeah, so, um, still using the DLC rod. My brother's just turned up. He's going to go get his hair cut. <laughs> We're finally at a lockdown as we speak as me making this video, so, uh, He's booked an appointment to go get his hair chopped straight away. <sighs> well, yeah, so still using this DLC rod. And the reason why I'm still using this one is just to show you guys in case you did ever buy the DLC for this one. And if you're going to ask me, do I recommend for you guys to buy the new DLC for the Amazonia Maze Brazil? Yes, definitely. <laughs> if you're not a high enough level to get in that place and you want to get in there and start catching sharks and some monster, monster fish, and then I definitely recommend for you to buy the DLC. Again, I'm not sponsored by Fishing Planet in any sort of way. It's just uh, just my personal opinion. I was definitely going to buy it for the PC and for the PS4. That was my plan. But because so many people kept saying... They want to see the grind. They want to see me grind. And they want to know how to 
to level up fast from 63 to 68. So I did the grind and didn't end up buying it, which in a way I wanted to, so that way I had the new boat for the PS4. But unfortunately, I um, didn't manage to, to do it because I guess I could still buy it, but there's not really much point now because... Um, <laughs> I showed the grind, I showed how to do it. Yeah, I did have a, quite a few of these as well, the Apapa fish. Had a few of those as unique. And this is on day one. So this is me changing all my rods now. These are my new setup stuff that I've got. So on the Cazador rods, the best ones at level 65, I've got 76.5 braid on there. And then I've got the 69.5 braid on the DLC rod, which is this one here. Then I also have a 69.5 pound uh, braid on the Heavy Chaser as well. I'm using a leader, 70.5 pound leader as well. That's the leader that I'm using. Um, I'm using that on the Heavy Chaser and I'm using that on every, every setup that I have. But yeah, there as you see, 69.5 pound line on this heavy chaser and the reason why I showed you that is just in case you don't want to buy these rods and you're using the heavy chasers you can get the job done but it's just a little bit more slower a little bit more slow going slower pace all right so this is another clip that I got I wanted to try and get a unique on the heavy chaser I did catch a couple on there but because I made so many videos, so many edits in this throughout this video, so many clips, there were some video clips that I deleted and obviously I didn't watch all of the clip because some of the clips that I did actually make were like 20, 30 minutes long. And yeah, I didn't want to add it all together. Otherwise, it, to just to show this video, it probably would have went on for about four hours. So obviously I trimmed it right, right down completely big time. And there was a few clips that I did lose of the fish with the heavy chaser as unique. But there is one though. And that's £135. That's still pretty good XP and pretty good cash. So yeah, you can catch those uniques on that heavy chaser. But definitely more time consuming. Definitely takes that little bit longer. One thing I recommend is if you're going to grind it out, you could probably do this without premium in maybe about a week. If you, as long as you played it every day, you could probably do it in a week. But um, if you've got premium, you could definitely do it within 24 hours, depending on how much time you're going to put in. If you're not going to uh, be playing it crazy long hours like I do, uh, then um, I'd probably say in about two days you could definitely get from... 65 to to 68 but then from level 63 to 68 you're probably gonna need four to five ish days again it all depends on how many hours you're playing each day if you're playing crazy hours you could get it done fast there's 156 pound that was 19,000 xp there that's absolutely bonkers <laughs> But you can get a lot more XP than that, though, in the new Amazonia Maze Brazil. So, um, yeah, you definitely want to go over there and start catching yourself some fish. And if you have any problems trying to catch any type of fish in there, again, look across the channel and you will find it there. And <clears throat> different hot spots and doing all the missions, as I mentioned before. So if you're wondering why I moved over this way, I didn't cast anywhere different. I was still casting in the same spot as where I normally do, but... I ended up moving a little bit over to the right there just because those bite alarms do drive me kind of a little bit bonkers after playing the game constant for hours on end. Then bite alarms do drive you a little mad. I know you can turn them down. Obviously, you can adjust the, the volume of your TV and obviously you can turn it down from in-game as well. But I have it loud because I do every now and again go out and get coffee. And when I do, that's when it always goes off. So here we go. 18,000. XP there for another unique and that ho ho hooks us up hits us up hooks us up <laughs> There's our new level level 68 so we can now go into Amazonia maze Brazil as you can see there and This is all the new stuff that we've unlocked. So this was the grind. I hope you guys did enjoy it um, As I mentioned if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button drop a like as well Let's us know you're still enjoying fishing planet if you're able to share the content, please do. It does help me grow as a content creator. 
videos. I always use mic for live streams, always face cam and mic. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.